News Radio 1080 KRLD. The U.S. Senate has voted to move forward with a civil contempt proceeding. This involves a a Texas-based website, the first contempt action, in fact, since the Whitewater investigation during Bill Clinton's presidency. Now, despite the subpoena from the Senate, Backpage.com, based in Dallas, has been refusing to appear before a congressional panel. The committee says human traffickers have found business through websites that run ads about escorts and such things, even lawful services. Loretta Powers is an attorney specializing in human rights cases. Well, if there's a court order, you either need to file a motion to contest it or you need to obey it. And it appears that Backpage.com simply ignored it. And I think the Senate voted 96 to 0 to hold Backpage in content, not because of how it conducts its business, but because they didn't comply with the court order. So there's going to be a hearing on it, and I have a feeling that Backpage.com will provide the documents, or one or many of its officers will be combined. Some of the questions that I've seen raised have to do with the ads on websites such as Backpage and whether they are, in fact, uh, using what seems to be uh, lawful enterprises to do human and uh, trafficking and sex trafficking and that kind of thing. Are you finding that to be the case with, with some of these websites? Yes. Well, Section 230 of the Communications Decency Act basically says that websites are not responsible for what users post. And unfortunately, this protection fosters a willful blindness for these websites. They think, I can't be held responsible, so I'm not going to monitor my site in a responsible way. And as we saw here, this is the slippery slope. And even the U.S. Court of Appeals for the First Circuit said that the victims made a persuasive case that Backpage basically made a website that makes sex trafficking easier. But when Congress enacted the Communications Decency Act, it chose to give broad protections to Internet publishers. Is this a case where they're trying to keep up with the law in terms of how how things change? But this is mostly a free speech issue, okay. and the key to solve free speech problems is not censorship. Um, you don't fix this by taking the websites down. The solution is more free speech. So for every one person that thinks this behavior is okay, there are thousands that think it's abhorrent. So the thousands need to use their free speech to say, this is unacceptable, and I will not be using a website that doesn't monitor its user's responsibility. And with that, hopefully this Craig list knockoff will die an obscure death. That's attorney Loretta Powers with the law offices of Tim Powers in Denton joining us on the KRLD Newsline.